Hi guys and welcome to the Art of Ita. In today's video we are going to do something that is relaxing and is taking our mind off things. We are going to do some good old swatching and painting. I have some watercolor tubes of two different brands and I want to use those watercolor to uh, swatch them and to create some nice landscape. I'm thinking probably to just do a couple of landscape watercolor painting. And uh, I have six of Dollar Running that I got with a subscription box. And the point is uh, watercolor tubes rarely get used by me because it just takes the extra step of being put out and I'm usually just going for the easier, more comfortable, uh, more convenient thing of tabs. And I also have the set of 12 of Crawford and Black. So we're going to swatch this one. So if you like, you can follow along, you can grab a cup of tea, you can just paint with me or do everything you like to do, just relax, put some music on. I will be talking uh, also, of try not much, but if you want, you can just mute me and enjoy the color. I'll see you at the end of the video. For the first set of watercolor, I really wanted to be able to fit my swatching inside the box because I'm not very well organized when it comes to store my swatches, so I keep doing it and always losing it. So I decided to cut part of a watercolor sheet to fit inside uh, this box and then I just add dots uh, quite a bit of paint actually came out but it was it was okay and I just start to make circles and to see how the uh, paint uh, perform and how the color uh, look like. I'm not doing any review because I just don't feel that I'm expert enough to uh, do review of any kind so you very rarely you will find the review in my channel. I just enjoy colors and enjoy sketching, enjoy painting. Most of all, I enjoy a good old art challenge. Um, honestly, I really like the color. I do think they were not that pigmented, not too saturated. Um, so yeah, it's just a basic watercolor set to get you going and express your creativity without breaking your wallet. And I think when you're just doing artwork for yourself, there's nothing wrong in using a simple uh, color. And then I use the leftover piece to swatch the other uh, set of Dalerani and actually work out perfectly because I had just six color and putting this piece of paper on a vertical line uh, will just give me the space that I needed. Also here I wrote what I think to be the pigment number uh, because there was but in the other set there was not so I didn't get to write. I tried to understand the color better so every information I can get I tried to learn. Um, yeah so I just went ahead and I did a different kind of swatching to keep myself um, interested and I love the color. Look at the red it was oh the red was so good. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> I had to give you a close look guy because these colors are really really intense and they really pop. I enjoy so much doing this watch. But Here a quick side by side of our swatching and I can immediately tell you that this color have more intense pigment compared to this one. Uh, for example, we both have a lemon yellow, but here I don't have a pigment information, so uh, maybe they just use a different one. Uh, 
they do have a lovely color and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad that I get to use this color to complement this palette so I feel like I can create a little bit more like I was disappointed to only have a green but here we have a lovely dark green that I feel like for a landscape I can do so much with it and even if I have two ultramarine once again this is so much darker than this one so if I do water element um mountain I can play with all of them like I think I can use all of them uh, white of course is white um, here the brush was a little bit dirty uh, my bad but I feel like this white is whiter than this so than this one so um, I love rose sienna I love all of the colors I'm really impressed even with this one even if the pigment is less intense still um, I feel like burnt sienna ochre this orange they are so pretty um, yeah this deep red I was really impressed by it until I saw this crimson and I'm like I'm I feel like this is a deep red deeper than this one but uh, also the black it feels um, more brownish a brownish black no a uh, hundred percent black but that's okay I won't need a, a true dark uh, black so I think I uh, with this amount of color uh, we can do something pretty um, so yeah let's move on to our painting Before to begin, I had to organize my paper. I'm using a watercolor paper, of course, mm -hmm. and I decided to have two uh, painting, two small painting in one A5 sheet. And uh, my reference feature comes both from a website called Unsplash, and I decided to go for a mountain setting there was more focus on the mountain the first time and for the second where it's more focus on a, a flowering environment even if we find a beautiful mountain a beautiful sky in beautiful lake in both of them so they're quite similar ultimately but it's the choice of color that is going to be quite different uh, so yeah i'm honestly try to work a lot on mixing color i try to understand the color better as i said before um i try to learn more about everything right now so i feel like i'm starting my journey so i just want to know everything and i'm trying to learn more about mixing color as well so in uh, this case i try to mix a lot on the side of my color as you can see and i'm very happy with the way the sky came out it's a lovely shade in my opinion uh, there's a lot more to work on um, the land side that you can see in, uh, in the horizon i feel like i should have um, um, add a more intense brown probably uh, the trees I feel like I, sh I need to work more on doing trees on distance I like how the mountain came out um, and honestly in general I like this paint but to be honest I like the second more um, but yeah lovely color lovely shade uh, this one is actually my partner uh, favorite paint of the two so yeah they both have a winner um you guys let me know in the comment which paint it's you like the most if you're more team number one or team number two that is coming uh, as a second one so this paint had more of a orangey tone to it um and I had a 
beautiful water reflex uh, had uh, some stone in the sea and then uh, just a little bit of grass on the side uh, keeping it very simple uh, and i had to wait that uh, the mountain dry to go back and outline it once again and then create more shadow and uh, some clouds so basically in both painting i try to work um, uh, in multiple setting at the same time so I will do the sky first just the base and then go back uh, uh, once it was dry and in the meantime doing maybe the lake or the mountain so that allow the color to dry without me have to wait uh, a lot for it in this case like you can see already why i like this second paint better and it's just the purple the purple is so gorgeous it's so intense i really uh, liked it so yeah that's what i'm talking about i did a bit of the sky i did the mountain and then i'm coming just to create the base of the grass and then i'm going to the uh, lake so that in the meantime uh, what the base what i worked before on could dry and then i could just go back and keep working without have to wait uh, for a drying time or have to use the blower uh, those are the flowers that i mentioned before i use of course this crimson color for the flower and he had a, such a lovely pop uh, but i did feel it was a bit dark that's why i decided to go with the lemon yellow uh, just straight color in this case and to add a bright to it a bright color to it and once the mountain was dry i went back and created a more intense look because if i want it to be very dark but still not black on the purplish dark side hey yes i had to wash my uh, palette mixing palette because even if i was almost close to the end i had no space anymore to mix in color so just when i had to clean it refresh and add the last finish touch i mean look at the sky and uh, yeah the lake is coming together and yeah so i'm very proud of these uh, two little landscape uh, let me know guys in the comment which one you like and i let you enjoy the final look